The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Please note, the new number is... Today, we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions and what I learned in 2020 and what I want to bring into 2021. Now, this year of 2020 definitely brought many surprises and a slew of emotions. This past year, I think everyone really grew from the adversity and the uncertainty of this past year and it's definitely been a tough long ride i would say i have learned a lot from it we've had our ups and downs and i think that taking time to reflect and taking time to learn what you did best in the previous year and what you can learn and take to the next year is something that's really important and something that i really haven't done before so with all of that said we are going to dive into the first topic of what i learned in 2020. definitely this year was full of uncertainty i felt like it tested me as a person to really adapt to the sudden change that was put upon us and so this definitely taught me many different things throughout the year So the first thing that I want to talk about is that I've learned that my emotions are valid. And so I think that's a lot easier said than done in that I felt like a lot a lot of times in quarantine, there were a lot of expectations put upon other people to like get fit during quarantine, to read a ton of books, to do X, Y, and Z. And so I definitely feel like there was a lot of expectation and so if someone felt unmotivated lost you know um not driven to do a million things and be productive during quarantine they would feel bad about themselves and so i definitely think that just in general within my 2020 i've definitely learned that my emotions are valid and that it's okay to not be okay sometimes and there are bad days that i think that sometimes as a positive person i sometimes forget to allow myself to have those kind of days where I maybe I'm not feeling the best or maybe I'm feeling down but that's okay and so I think that realizing that and saying that those feelings and that feeling of uncertainty that feeling of um, unknown that many of us shared during this hard period of time that many are still suffering through and that all of these kinds of emotions that are valid and it is okay to feel lost at times and so I think that some, that's something that I really took away from this year and something I definitely want to bring forward in 2021. In addition, I want to touch on the fact that I definitely feel like I've become a more confident person. I feel like I've become more comfortable within my skin. I've embraced, as I said in my previous video, I've embraced my flaws and I feel like I've become a much more confident person in general. But going back to this, that idea that your emotions are valid and that it's okay to not be okay, I just wanted to put that out there that something that I definitely want to take to 2021 is that even though as I grow and mature as a person, I'm definitely going to have my ups and downs. Although you can be a positive person, everyone has their days and everyone has their moments and so there are times where I feel not as confident in myself or times where I'm feeling down or times that I don't like the way I look or think times where I feel insecure about certain things. But something that I've learned in 2020 is that that's okay to feel like that, you know? I feel like I've grown a lot as a person and it's okay to have those ups and downs. So sometimes when people come up to me and say like, Alice, like I... I can't believe it like how are you not confident in this like you you project such a confident image and i think sometimes that definitely hurt in some ways because i felt like you know everyone is dealing with their own things inside everyone's dealing with their own insecurities everyone's dealing with that this that and the other thing and so um you know the image that everyone projects may not be exactly the 
image or the feelings that are really um, whirling inside of them. So that is definitely something that I wanted to touch on and that confidence is a journey and finding yourself and growing as a person is a journey and it's not a linear journey but that's something that I definitely want to embrace in 2021 and embrace that as I touched on before that setting these goals and expectations and growing as a person there is this type of uncertainty and that's okay those kind of emotions are completely and 100% valid and no one should make you feel less for feeling those things So the next thing that I definitely learned from 2020 is that honesty is the best policy and I know this is again easier said than done, it's a short phrase but I think it's something that I've really taken to heart this past year in that there have been times where I haven't wanted to be honest, I wanted to take the easy path, the easy way out and I didn't necessarily want to tell the truth but I definitely think that in the end I've learned that honesty is the best policy even though it might not seem like the best way in the beginning that it is very very imperative that you remain transparent with your friends your family and something that I learned through many learning experiences but something that I definitely took to heart and want to continue to do and act upon in this next year so the next thing that i took away from 2020 was as i said before i feel like i've grown into a more confident person i definitely feel like i've at college i've been allowed to develop and mature as the person that i feel like was always like secretly hiding inside of me i feel like at the college i am at now i definitely feel confident and it's making me feel like i can develop and grow as an individual with others around me in a very collaborative space so definitely putting yourself out there is something that i've learned in 2020 and something that i really tried to practice and take to heart this past year and i think i actually did really achieve that i think that many of us Many of us fear rejection and that's totally normal and that's okay to feel. It's hard to put yourself all the way out there because everyone is afraid of being rejected, being rejected by a significant other, being rejected by your friends, being rejected by societal expectations, by other people, by strangers, so many things. And I think that rejection is something that we must face and, and instead we learn it, we use this kind of fear as a learning tool in that when I put myself out there I definitely am scared right although I am confident in myself and I'm confident in the image that I put out I'm always definitely there's a small part of me that is afraid and so I think that putting yourself out there is very difficult but worth it in the end because I think that I definitely came to the realization in 2020 that by putting yourself out there and showing your genuine authentic self, not everyone will like you. And I know this sounds really conceited of me to say, but I think that just in general human beings, like we want to be liked, right? We don't want to be hated upon. We don't want to be ostracized from a group. And so I think that if you put yourself out there, you definitely, you feel like you're putting yourself at risk. You're putting yourself in a vulnerable position. But I think that in the end, even though not everyone will like you, that's okay. And that's something that I really have learned to embrace that although not everyone will like you, that's okay. You, when making friends at college or making friends at a new place, making friends in general, not everyone will like you. And that's okay. You don't have to be, it's like, you don't have to be liked by everyone to still form those really genuine friendships because I think that by putting yourself all the way out there, you really do attract the best kind of people and the people that you will have for life. The last part that I learned from 2020 is definitely how to stand up for myself. And I think that this is something that I've really grown and learned from, from experiences and something that I definitely want to take into 2021. I feel like learning to stand up for yourself is extremely hard and I feel like I've definitely come to that point where there have been times this year where I feel like I've been pushed around and 
I realize that I'm better than that and that I need to learn to stand up for myself. And so I did, I put myself into that vulnerable position and I realized that in relationships and friendships, in any kind of interaction or kind of relationship that you form with anyone, whether that be a significant other, whether that be a friendship, if both parties are not meeting each other 50 and 50 to meet in the middle, it easily becomes toxic. And I would say that the kind of friendships and relationships that I've formed over this past year have been very, I've been very lucky to have. I also have been very cognizant of those other types of relationships where I feel like the 50-50 is not being met. And there are times where you just have to stand up to a friend, to a significant other, to someone else in your life that you maybe you weren't comfortable with before and really talk it out and be honest and I think that's really hard and something that I've learned and something that I definitely want to take with me to 2021. Not everything will work out in the end for so many reasons with friendships, with relationships, for other things in your life and I think that learning to embrace that is really powerful and something that a powerful tool that I want to use for 2021 in that even if everything will not work out you have to look at it in the or I look at it in the light that people will come in and out of your life for different reasons and I believe that they make a lasting impact in your life in some way different phases, different times of your life. I think that it's natural for people to come in and out, to weave themselves through your lives. And I think that for the better or for the worse, I think that in the end, it really shapes your character and who you are. These people are in my life for a reason. And I believe that as a person in their life, I'm making a better impact on their life as well and vice versa. So, there are many different things I did learn in 2020 and something that this year has been a roller coaster of emotions and I am extremely grateful for what I have been able to have in 2020 and my situation and I'm extremely lucky to be in a loving family and during this hard time for everyone and stay safe Okay, so now I'm going to talk about things I want to embrace in 2021. Now, this is definitely, as I said before, these kinds of goals and expectations that you set for yourself. For me, I feel like the small goals tend to be harder for me to follow, actually. When I go into 2021, I want to be living by a mantra and just a couple of phrases that I want to take to heart and really take to heart throughout the year. My first one is be more present. And so I think that it's something that I really struggle with and I've struggled with in the past in 2020 and I'm really hoping to work on this in 2021 in that I am a very go, go, go person. I'm also always making plans. I I love my calendar. I love doing, hanging out with friends. I love planning my next event and it's something that I'm really passionate about. But also I feel like I'm caught up in the next thing, the next event, the next person I'm gonna see and whatnot. And that's something I definitely wanna work on because I think I need to take more time to enjoy the moment. And with all of this going on, Many times I think, what am, what am I chasing in that I feel like in this kind of society, in this kind of world, we're always chasing something else. We're chasing a job, we're chasing a relationship, we're chasing, um, we're chasing our next stage in our life, chasing always the next step. We're always looking for the next step, high school, then college, then job, then grad school, then whatnot. And so I think those types of goals are great. And I think that some people definitely, that works for them. But for me, I've definitely realized that sometimes I get too caught up in that and I get too focused on 
looking at the future and really planning out my life. And I have to realize, especially during what's happened in 2020, I have to realize how grateful and how fortunate that of all the things that I was able to have in 2020. And in addition, how all those things in a second could just be taken away from me in any aspect at any point of time. And that I really cannot be taking these things for granted and really value and cherish everything that I have in the moment. And so that's definitely something that I want to embrace in 2021. I want to stop, pause, take time for myself, reflect and enjoy the beauty of life how it is. And it's so easy to get caught up in comparison and so easy to try to live in the moment, but then pull out your phone and then compare your experience with your neighbor's experience, your friend's experience on Instagram, Snapchat, Visco, whatever. And then you feel like you, you feel like your experience is almost devalued, invalidated. And in that way, I really want to try to put my phone away, really, really spend time in the moment and appreciate the people that I'm with, the thing that I'm doing for what it is. And so I think that's definitely easier said than done, but something I definitely would like to start practicing for next year or this year right now. The next step is practicing self-compassion. And so that means being more mindful of my surroundings, being accepting and validating of my own emotions. As I said before, my emotions are valid. And oftentimes I compare myself to other people, to other experiences, to other people's Instagram accounts or whatnot. And then I try to, then almost subconsciously, I invalidate my own and that's not okay and I've realized that I need to like start accepting my own and feeling like it's okay to feel like how I am and that's something that really takes time and self-love and the next thing also going along with that being more present is taking time to meditate and slow down because oftentimes we get caught up in social media again documenting our experiences in the kind of way to prove to other people the wrong kind of things right there's nothing wrong with filming for your own memories but there definitely is something that i find toxic about documenting for a certain reason to prove to other people when in reality the deepest connections are formed when you really are present in the moment and focusing on the other person and really living in the moment and slowing down and saying hey i'm not focused on the next event i'm focused on right now and finally I really hope to continue to connect with others and really value their own experiences for their own and recognize that the things that people do, their actions, that it's all driven by something else and that driven by their past experiences, by their family life. And I think it's really important and something that I should continue practicing is to continue to look beyond the front image, beyond the image that they project upon others and really try to understand where they're coming from. And I think that also goes along with the whole goal setting and something that I mentioned in the beginning of the video that something that I definitely something that I definitely have trouble with and something that is my third goal for this 2021 is that oftentimes I feel like my oftentimes I'm wondering what my purpose is on the on this world and I know this is getting really deep but just hear me out and I believe that my actions reflect upon my own character and that I'm really trying to uh, make a good impact on this world. But I also think that part of what I need to work on and part of myself like filming this YouTube video holding myself accountable to is accepting other people's views on different things because I definitely think that I'm a empathetic and compassionate person but I think that at times I definitely get caught up in my own vision of the world and then tend to compare it to other people's and am I, I really need to work on not devaluing any anyone else's experience on how they want to live their life, how they want to carry out their own life on this world, right? And really accept and embrace my own, but also embrace another's for the way that they want to live their own life. The way that I see my place on earth, place in the world is maybe not necessarily maybe not necessarily 
what everyone else thinks and that's that's okay and i can inspire others i can others can take after me but i should in no way be placing my viewpoint and forcing others to live by it but i definitely would like to become as this youtuber that i just watched just said in his video for his 2021 reflection becoming radically honest with both myself and with others and i think that this really comes with projecting my genuine self on all my platforms and in all ways possible and so this is something that i definitely feel like at the end of 2020 i was definitely starting to embrace but something i definitely want to continue as time goes on i definitely want to continue to project my genuine self and authentic self and as you can see my instagram has definitely changed it definitely has transformed to maybe not this normal normal caption normal picture kind of thing and that's okay and i think that that's my way of projecting my genuine self and everyone else has their own ways and you should also respect those ways and Finally, I really want to focus on adopting self mentality and adopting a self mentality that it works for me. And as I said before, everyone has their own way that they take their own take on this world, their own vision on what they think their place and their mission on this world is. And so I think that by setting these goals for myself and you know really keeping myself accountable by posting this YouTube video, by talking to others about it, by really practicing becoming more present practicing self-compassion and really really learning about myself in a deeper way that this comes with developing a healthy relationship with myself mentally spiritually and physically and emotionally as well and for this this means chasing my passions surrounding myself with people that i love and people that really bring me up and not down and cutting out those friendships that maybe and relationships that maybe are not the best for me or my mental health and really looking out for myself in a way that is really getting to know myself and also embracing this type of uncertainty right i'm young and i don't know what my future holds and what is going to come of it but i definitely know that i really want to continue to embrace and be grateful for what I have and in addition really live in the moment because we really never know what's going to happen next. I really hope that you were able to learn something and if you didn't that's totally fine and if you embraced or this gave you inspiration for your own news resolutions please uh, send me a text and we'll definitely talk about it because I love talking to other people about my own resolutions and um, talking about their own resolutions because I think that part of the way that I feel like I can keep myself accountable and really learn and grow as a person is talking to other people about my kinds of resolutions and really dedicating myself to it by talking to other people because in this way this works for me this makes me feel more accountable for my goals so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one.